Shallow submarine eruption in 2021 of Fukudoku Oka Noba volcano, located 60 kilometers south of Iodo Island in the Northwest Pacific Ocean, created a mass of floating pumice rocks that eventually drifted over 1300 km to arrive in the Okinawa Islands. This is the fifth major pumice raft event in the world since 2000, following rafts in the Tonga Arc in 2001, 2006, 2019, and the Kermatic Arc in 20121, 2, 3, 4. Of these recent events, the 2021 raft is particularly important for pumice raft studies because of the frequency and quality of satellite imagery covering both its eruption and subsequent dispersal as well as its diverse environmental and economic consequences. The eruption began at 5.57, local time, JST, on 13 August, producing a sustained steam-rich subaerial plume reaching a maximum height of 16 km above sea level before transitioning to intermittent Surtsean eruptive activity that finally ceased by 1600 on 15 August 5. Multiple satellites image the formation of the pumice raft, e.g. Figure 1. Image analysis in Maino et al.6 demonstrated that the pumice raft was seen accumulating on the sea surface above the submarine vent from 8 o'clock JST on 13 August, initially spreading radially around the vent and then dispersing towards the northwest until 12 o'clock JST, after which it was obscured from satellite view by the subaerial eruption plume. A subsequent pulse of eruptive activity on the afternoon of 14 August may have produced a second mass of pumice in addition to the initial raft, but all raft pumice were confirmed to have left the vent area by 12.50 on the 15th, at which time the observed raft area was 287 km 27. Subaerial ash plumes can cause numerous hazards along the path of the plume during the eruption, including respiratory problems, damage to crops and infrastructure and closure of airspace to aviation, but after the eruption ends most ash rapidly falls out from the atmosphere. By contrast, the slow but sustained dispersal of floating pumice means that many of the hazardous and economic impacts of pumice rafts do not occur until weeks after the eruption when the raft reaches shipping lanes or coastlines. In Japan, the impacts of the 2021 pumice raft were numerous and long-lasting. Following observation of a pumice raft or other floating hazard, scientists and local government are urged to obtain long-term, several weeks to months, predictions of dispersal direction and speed to enable potentially affected areas to be warned with sufficient time before the raft arrives to act to protect human life and perhaps mitigate damage to coastal infrastructure and ecology. The two major inputs for simulating pumice dispersal are wind and ocean currents. Wind and ocean current data, however, have limitations for providing long-term predictions. Uncertainty in future forcing and the potential for a slight perturbation leading to great divergence makes long-term forecasting a challenging task. Instead, a reliable forecast period may be only a few days, e.g., two days in the Gulf of Mexico 9. Nevertheless, such short-term prediction may not be sufficient because decision-making and taking action to mitigate potential disasters also takes time. When long-term prediction is not available or possible, hindcast reanalysis of wind and ocean currents that cover different variability in past years can provide crucial insights. 